Okay, what we're going to be tying here is Eric's Clod Hopper. What you want to start out with is a pre-cut foam. This is meant for a size 10. Um, I'll be tying on a number 710 size 10 Dairiki. This is basically a 3x long, 1x strong hook. You're going to want to measure from the eye to the back. And you're going to want to cut about a quarter of an inch off of that piece. And then you're also going to have dark brown foam and another light brown foam and you want to have them all the same length. So you just measure and cut them all. To save time you can do just uh, a bunch of these all at once, cut them and get them ready. Once you get those pieces cut, you can take your hook out of the vise and you're going to pierce the back end of this foam right in the middle, about a quarter of an inch from the, from the tip. You want to do it right in the middle, just like so. And then with a tan uh, six out thread, you're going to cover the entire shank from front to back. You want to go right to the hook bend. Bring your thread to the front. Scoot this forward so when it lays down that the back gate pops up. That way it gives you a good hook gap. Then you're just going to coat with super glue or zap a gap which is what I'm using. You don't want to use a lot. Bring it right back up to that point where you had it. And then you're going to set your darker brown right over the top of that. Making sure everything is even. Everything's going down the middle. Just going to squeeze them together. Once you got that, you don't want to pull too tight. little wraps you just cross over the top you're gonna do that twice you're gonna attach your first pair of rubber legs Once again, you don't want to pull on your thread too hard. It'll cut that foam. Then you just bring it right back over, across to just on that corner. You secure that foam like that. It's a little bit easier if you trim your rubber legs right away. You want to have them going back there a little bit. You're going to want to trim these a little bit shorter. Probably right around three quarters of an inch. Then what you're going to do is you're going to have these are what I call spectra sheets and you're gonna stamp them with your the same cutter that you had and you want to have a sheet that actually cuts really well you're gonna lay that right over the top tie that in You're going to add some uh, Sparkle Emerger yarn. Get that from Hairline. And I usually just do a whole bunch of it hanging out the back. 
makes it easier to trim, easier to work with. Tie that in at the same spot. And you just go ahead and cover it up. And you go right back to where you were. Trim it off the back. And your last piece of foam, you want to bring it in from the side away from you. You kind of want to, as you're wrapping around, you want to bring the foam around with you so that it's centered like so. Then with your scissor, you go through the foam, through the eye of the hook, Pull the foam down with your scissors away, make the hole a little bit bigger, and you're going to take that and go right back through that eye. Add just a little bit of super glue here, not a lot, and you just fold that right back over. Secure it down making sure everything's even and you're going to put on your second set of rubber legs Once again, you don't want to wrap too tight. The rubber legs that I'm using are medium tan rubber legs from Hairline. You get those secured in there, then you're just going to whip finish it. And you're just going to measure where your other leg has been cut. You're going to cut right across from that. Do that on both sides. Then using a double-edged razor blade, you're going to go at an angle from the hook eye back cut that foam. Then you're going to take, an, uh, take a marker, black one, if you want. Put eyes on this baby. Right there, put some head cement on it. And that's uh, Eric's Clodhopper.